welcome back to the research channel in today's lesson we are going to discuss that what is the difference between the results and the discussion sections in the research that there are the two major chapters or the sections in our research articles are the thesis that is the results and the discussion so in this video we are going to differentiate between these two sections or the chapters so let's begin first of all we will uh, study that what are the results section and what uh, message uh, do they convey so what is the results the results section is just a presentation of the data there should not be any interpretation in the results section that goes in the uh, discussion section that uh, simply in a simple most way the results section or the results chapter is the presentation of the data that is the presentation of your findings that when you have collected this data from the different sources and then you have applied the different tests on your data so the results are the findings that you have obtained from the different types of the tests is basically the results that is you are going to present only the data in the form of the tables in the form of the figures etc the results need to be presented in enough details for the someone not familiar with the scientific paper to understand them that you need to give a full detail of your results section uh, to the uh, readers are the viewers of your research articles all the results should be explained in the text of the results section as well as being presented in either figures or the tables for example this is the uh, result section of a particular paper and that is the OLS regression results that the different uh, type of the data was collected from the different sources and a particular type of the OLS regression model was applied and this particular uh, result of a findings has been obtained so you need to uh, present all the data uh, of your uh, results of your all data uh, that in, in form of the text in the form of the you know in the uh, in the form of the graphs in the form of the figures etc now the next is the discussion so uh, basically what is the discussion and what this uh, section uh, contains so in the discussion you should explain your results or the findings and how they relate to the previous studies and any implications they might have to uh, for the future users a good discussion will explain why your results and the whole paper is important and you will show that your results can add new knowledge to your chosen area of the world so what is important over here in the discussion section you need to explain or interpret the results or the findings that have been obtained in the results sections next you have to compare your studies your analysis your results with the previous studies and what implications they might have for the future studies and how this study this uh, research can make a difference in the academic world in the discussion you should refer to the literature when explaining and discussing your results that what have been done in the past and what is your contribution so this should be related to the interpretation of your results and not restating that what was said in the introduction when you reviewed the relevant literature in the purpose of the discussion section is to interpret and describe the significance of your findings in relation to what was already known about the research problem being investigated that what is the significance or what is the relevancy of your research to the previous studies that what was being known and what is your contribution now there uh, a particular example to further elaborate the difference between the results and the discussion in the end paragraph of the results section you can see the purpose so the purpose of the results section is to support clarify and emphasize the information in the text they help speed the readers understanding and provide visual evidence of the results so you have to only present your data your findings 
okay in the results section while in case of the what is the purpose of the discussion section so in the last in the end paragraph that is the purpose of the discussion you can see the function of this section is to provide a specific interpretation of the major results what are the major results how you will obtain the major results so the major results are the part of your result section so once you have obtained uh, are generated the different results now you need to interpret those major results in the discussion section so hopefully this video will help you in differentiating the results section from the discussion section hope you will have enjoyed this particular piece of the knowledge thank you for watching please support and share my content